welcome back to another fishing video. Uh, today, me and Fergie, we're gonna be walking around and, well, driving around, and we're out in Greensburg, PA, and we are just going to search local areas where you can fish and just pull off on side of the road and just fish and see if we can catch something nice. Uh, today we have all day to fish. It's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon and hopefully we're going to catch some nice fish. Um, we're going out. We're going to try and catch anything. Trout, bass, anything really in the streams and in the ponds and lakes and dams. So I think first off we're going to head to Twin Lakes. So here now we're pulling up and we are going to get out fishing. I'll keep you updated on where we go fishing next. We are at Twin Lakes once again, a second repeat. We're going to try and catch some nice bass out here. Um, I wanted to say I apologize for not being able to post videos. If you follow me on Instagram at pa.hunter.fisherman, you'll know that I did hurt my back. I twisted a vertebrae and twisted my pelvis uh, trying to lift my boat onto my truck. So today is the first day I've been fishing in about three weeks. Just wanted to let you know um, and show you what kind of terrain we're dealing with. This is kind of where we're at today. He's going to be throwing out some uh, stuff that he's just going to be sitting on and then I'm going to be throwing a new live target bait. This guy right here. It's a shad color and I, oh, I thought these were so cool with the ingenuity of them. So I'm going to try it out, hopefully catch a nice fish and I'm going to put this, uh, put the camera on the chest mount and we're going to get out there and get ready to go fish. Okay guys, first cast of the day with this live target shad. We're going to see how much damage this guy can do. It looks a bit shallow, the water, but you know what? We're going to try it out and hopefully. So now um, I switched off from the live target. I'm going to give that a rest. I'm going to bring out the bait caster and use this Strike King um, spinner bait. So hopefully the light color in the sunlight will be to my advantage today. Okay, guys, so uh, that small little Strike King really wasn't working. Uh, so I'm going to switch up to a little bit bigger. It's a half ounce spinner bait, white. Um, hopefully this will do a little bit better. The only reason why I'm switching is my bait caster kept getting nests in it uh, when I would cast it out and I was adjusting the brake, I was adjusting um, everything and I just couldn't get it. So um, hopefully this will bring us more luck and maybe the fish want something bigger since they were biting on my live target bait. So we'll see here soon. Hey guys, so no luck on anything I've been throwing. Uh, right now we're gonna do a Rapala. Uh, I think this is like a four or five inch jerk bait. We're just gonna see where it can go. It has a tint of that silver and purple. Um, Ferg, I think, has given up. He's trying to find different locations to go fishing. So I still have luck in it because I caught that big fish this morning. So we're going to test her out and see. Okay, guys. So we are done fishing Indian Lakes, and we are going to a new spot that we found on Google Maps. It's called Mammoth Dam. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to find some nice uh, fishing spots. We have not been here. It looks pretty, pretty... Um, pretty small to be honest with you so uh, we're gonna get out there and go fishing uh, we see a stream there's a bridge right here and we're gonna hit that there first and then we're gonna hit this little pond so we'll keep you updated hey guys so we are walking down this <laughs> paved road we found just trying to adventure and find new fishing spots we did come across oh man I almost slipped there we did come across this awesome awesome it look it's a stocked trout stream signs all the way down but it goes for miles so we're gonna try and fish it but in the process Ferg wiped out on the cement I broke my amp <laughs> and this mud is so slippery all we are in are flip-flops so literally we're wiping out everywhere oh thank god that was that was him more than me but <laughs> yeah right up here well Look at this. I mean, it's perfect for going trout. I don't have any of my trout stuff, but um, I can throw a couple trout lures on my bass rod. That's no problem. But this right here is what we slipped on. See, I was walking up here, just walking on tippy toes. And I mean, this is so slimy and slippery and then Ferg just wiped out right there. 
<laughs> he's all muddy but <laughs> we're gonna get the equipment out and hopefully uh switch this up from a bass fishing uh video to a trout video so we're gonna see what's gonna go on here and fish the stream okay guys so ferg was nice enough to lend me his little trout rod it's a little bit heavy um it's a medium light but it'll suffice for what we're doing and there i am only bringing the minnow spins and you guys know that i've caught some crazy fish on these guys they're a little bit big of a hook um because they were only gonna go bass fishing but i'm gonna start out with this small little guy and hopefully catch some nice ones okay guys first cast with the minnow spin we're gonna see if we can reel something nice in no guarantees okay guys so it happened so quickly but i caught a first fish of the day a nice little bass right under the bridge here uh we were walking up and down the stream and found this bridge started casting under it and i caught this really nice bass on this minnow spin lime green or uh, it's almost like a lime green yellow to color so they're here we know that it's a nice fish too bad i couldn't get the reel in but oh what'd you catch oh man almost better than a fish but nice first catch of the day i'm gonna release him back and there he goes oh look at what tyler caught <laughs> okay guys so uh ferg snapped his line and i lost the lure so we're leaving uh we're gonna go over to this little pond we see to the right of us um we might head back to here uh if we can get more trout lures we're gonna dig in our tackle boxes and see if we can get some my minnow spins aren't really supposed to be for trout they are supposed to be for bass which makes sense because i caught a bass on the um that yellow minnow spin which i lost about second cast after i caught that bass uh what we might do we fished on this end here what we might do is come over to this end later on don't know uh we're gonna try different tactics but right now we're gonna go to that pond so hopefully we'll catch some nice fish at the pond all right guys at the pond here gonna throw that live target hopefully catch another one another nice fish that we can actually land and i can show you guys so here we go i just had a huge freaking bite yeah I just had a huge freaking bite. Yeah. Man. Well, I guess I'll update you guys while I'm at it. I'm using a chatterbait here uh, with the Guggen bait, natural color. Look at, he split that sucker right in half. He had that guy. Man, what a fish. I think I got one. Got one. Oh yeah. Oh yes, baby. Yes. Dude, I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew I wasn't kidding. Oh, that's such a nice fish. Hoo -hoo -hoo! On the chatterbait with the Guggen. Oh, and look, it just falls right out. Look at that, baby. Here we go. Nice fish. Okay. Okay guys, so once again, I'm gonna be using this Guggen bait, natural color craw um, with the chatter bait. That was an awesome fish to catch that on. I mean, and all I'm doing, I'm casting out, letting it sink to the bottom and just keep jigging it up and reeling it in. So that's literally all I'm doing, slow and steady. And you know, they just take it right off the bat. So it's pretty cool. Now I know what they're biting. I know how to do it. Let's get, catch more fish here. is our last spot that the GPS brought us to. Uh, it is Bridgeport Dam. Now this is a pretty public dam. You can see people sitting out there. It says kayaks and boats are allowed on here. So it's actually a really nice area. It's not just something that we pulled on the side of the road for. But hopefully we can catch some nice fish. Now seeing an area like this means that there are going to be a lot of people fishing it. So it could be overfished. Uh, but we will see it looks like there are people down this way so we might have to do some walking but for the most part 
we're gonna try and catch us some nice fish. Okay guys, so it is 6.30, around 6.37, and we are ready to go home. Uh, it's been an exhausting day. We fished all day, and um, I only caught those two bass. You know, uh, that first bass, I didn't even feel it fighting. That's why I didn't record um, the catch because literally it was on land before I could even press the record button, which was crazy. Um, the second fish I caught, that really nice bass on the Guggen bait craw, that was an awesome catch. I've never caught a fish on Guggen bait, so I'll definitely, definitely uh, post the pictures of the fish on my Instagram at pa.hunter.fisherman. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my video, subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, giving me support. Uh, it's an awesome feeling to have you guys behind my back. Um, there will be more videos coming out. I'm actually going to the beach this week, so I'm hoping to do a deep sea video. I think that would be super, super cool. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to end up being, so if it is super long, thank you guys for sticking out with it and watching the whole video. Uh, and that is the google map challenge type of deal uh super cool just to look on the map see what your what how far your house is from a place and just go fish it so we'll see you on the next one and thanks for watching